There's so many guacamole recipes and you always want to have one that's a standout. And this one is a standout. To make it, I'm going to make what we know as chiles toreados. It's a very simple condiment to make and they're called chiles toreados because supposedly this way to prepare the chiles fires them up. Toreado translates to bullfighter or matador. So supposedly when you make the chiles toreados, you have to make them angry. So you're supposed to roll them on the counter like this, which I mean doesn't really make them angry. But what does happen is that you can see, you can, no, you can see, you can, <laughs> you can hear how, can you hear? Can you hear? You can hear how there's sort of, see, how the veins and the seeds are releasing their capsaicin, which is the heat in the chiles. So that why, that's why we say que los estamos toreando, we're like, like what a bullfighter does when he goes into a ring. I'm gonna put, I was gonna do two, but I feel like doing three. I'm gonna put three jalapeños on a preheated comal. And you could also do these straight over the fire, or you could also do these under the broiler, all for the same amount of time, between eight and 10 minutes. And what you do wanna do is flip them every few minutes. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to my cebollitas or spring onions. Now this is a typical, typical preparation of Mexican taquerias. Many Mexican restaurants and taco stands will have the plancha, you know, the big griddle, and you can see the jalapeños and the scallions charring all the time because Mexicans, we can't have enough of them. While those are charring, I'm going to make the marinade, which is nothing but soy sauce and freshly squeezed lime juice a third of a cup of soy sauce and it already smells like a taqueria in here. I want them to really char on the outside. I want them to soften on the inside, but I don't want to burn them. So keeping an eye on them. And now I'm gonna get a third of a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. This mix is so easy to make and the great thing about it is, well, many things are great about it, it's multiple uses, it's delicious taste, but also you can make it ahead of time. And the more that the chiles and the onions sit in the marinade, the better they get. So this is a condiment that you can have in your refrigerator for weeks. I'm gonna get about a half a cup of coarsely chopped cilantro. I'm gonna take my chiles out and you can see how they charred and wrinkled. So I have my chiles and my onions. I like to cut the chiles and the spring onions into thick slices. Ideally, you wanna mix the fire roasted jalapenos and scallions in the soy lime marinade for at least 10 minutes because you want the chiles and the scallions to absorb all that taste. But immediately now, mm, Mmm, mmm, so yum, mmm, so delicious. Now I'm gonna grab two avocados from Mexico and they need to be ripe. Whenever you wanna make guacamole or whenever you wanna eat avocados, you have to make sure that they ripe and a way to know is by looking at the color of the avocado. The skin should be almost pitch black. When you give them a gentle hold, it should let you to come in a little and feel like a, like a little nice gentle squeeze, but your fingers shouldn't be able to go all in because that means they're overripe. So this is just perfect. Let's see, see, so beautiful. I love it when this happens. And you can see all the different shades of green in just one fruit, it's incredible. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some of these chiles toreados. I'm gonna add my two avocados, just a little bit of salt, and then I'm just gonna mash away. So juicy, and so chunky, and so pretty. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna garnish with some queso cotija. There you have your chile toreado.
Mm. Mm-hmm. It's really delicious. You have the chunks of buttery, creamy avocado mixed in. You have the super buttery, creamy chunks of avocado that are now mixed with that chile toreado taste that we Mexicans love so much. It's the fire roasted jalapeño and spring onions that are soaking in that mix of soy sauce and lime juice. A little bit of that cilantro and that cotija cheese on top really makes it incredible. Salty, tangy, so delicious, so worthwhile. <laughs> 